Hey guys, it's me Crystal from Marching North and today I'm going to show you how to make this macrame wall plant hanger. You're going to start with your 8 inch dowel and grab one of your pieces of rope and attach it to the dowel with a lark's head knot. Tighten it up, scoot it over, and then you're going to attach the rest of your 10 pieces of cord in the same way. Once you have all 10 pieces attached, grab the two center cords, cross the left over the right one in a four shape, and bring the end through the loop to tie a half hitch knot. Then grab the next cord to the left, and you're going to tie another half hitch around the left center cord with that cord. Now hold those two cords together and grab the next cord to the left, wrap it around and tie a half hitch around both of those cords. Now hold those three cords together, grab the next cord to the left, and tie a half hitch around all three. You're going to repeat this pattern with every cord until you're to the last cord on the left. Now you're going to take that cord you just used and you're going to wrap it behind the bundle of cords and tie a half hitch in that direction. Now drop that cord and grab the next cord to the right and repeat that going behind the bundle of cords and bringing the end through the loop. Keep doing that with each cord until you get all the way back to the center. Now you're going to grab the two center cords to the right there and you're going to take the right one and wrap it in front of and around the left center cord and tie a half hitch knot. Then you're going to grab the next cord to the right and wrap it around both of those two cords to the left. And then hold those together and grab the next cord and repeat. And then just do that until you get all the way over to the right. Take the last cord you used and you're going to wrap it behind the bundle of cords and bring the end of the loop. Then you're going to drop that cord, grab the next cord to the left, and repeat. And again, you're just going to do that until you get back to the center. Take the two center cords and wrap the right one in front of and around the left one to tie a half hitch that'll connect the two sides. Now we're going to repeat that again. So take the left two center cords, take the left one and wrap it around the right one, and then you're going to hold those two together, grab the next left cord and wrap it around. Repeat everything just like you did for the first diamond. And then you're going to repeat it one more time so you have three diamonds all together.
buy one more diamond after the second one and then we're going to make the bottom of the plant hanger so I'll skip to that part. What you're going to do then is measure down five inches approximately and you're going to skip the first two cords on the left and then you're going to tie a square knot with the next four cords. Try to make it about at five inches but it doesn't have to be exact. Then you're going to tie three more square knots going to the right. Now grab the two outer cords on each side, flip them around so the outside cord is on the inside, and then you're going to tie a square knot that comes about an inch to an inch and a half below that row of square knots you just tied. Now grab the two cords on the left of that square knot and the next two cords to the left and you're going to tie a square knot about an inch to an inch and a half below the one you just tied. Repeat that over on the right. You're going to tie another square knot over on the left with the next four cords and you're going to just be going around in a circle to attach the whole section together. At this point I turned my plant hanger around to the back so it was easier to tie the knots and you're just going to tie two more square knots with the remaining eight cords. Now you can flip your plant hanger back around and we're going to grab the 50 inch cord to tie a wrapping knot under that row of square knots. So you're going to hold the end of the cord against the bundle in a U shape and then you're going to take the long part of the cord and wrap it all the way around and I wrapped mine around seven times. Just make sure you don't overlap any of the previous wraps and you just stack them going down. Now you're going to take that end and thread it through the loop that's left at the bottom. And then you're going to pull the short cord at the top of the wrapping knot and pull that little loop up halfway under the wraps to secure your cord. Then you can just leave the bottom cord and cut the top cord. The bottom cord will just blend in with the fringe and just use the end of your scissors to poke the little short part down under the wraps. Now you can cut your bottom fringe however long you want it. And I like to unravel the cord for the fringe or you can just leave it how it is. That's totally up to you. I hope you enjoyed this macrame plant hanger tutorial. And if you did, please leave a like, comment, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Thanks for watching.